Do you want what I think is the most efficient way to utilize the DTD2 program in command for all your real estate agent database? I'm Garrett Stewart, hopefully your referral partner for the Northern Nevada real estate market, including Reno, Sparks, Carson City, and all of Northern Nevada. So I'm here to show you a little bit about how you can utilize the DTD2 in your business here in command. Uh, it's the beginning of the year. You may want to start implementing it, or maybe you're watching this halfway through the year and still want to get it implemented. First of all is knowing the schedule and knowing your letters, right? So uh, I did upload the calendar here on my website, commandconsult.com. Just go over to more and go down to resources. And I have the DTD2 for this current year right there. And there you'll be able to see all the dates and the letters and everything there. So we know that it's A and W, B and E, D and O, H and V. Now traditionally this is supposed to be off of the last name. So then that way calling couples, things like that that are married with the same last name would be able to likely be called on the same uh same week. Now when doing that, once we know that, we're going to go into command and go into our context to prep, properly set us up for the year. So this is what I suggest. So you're going to have a little upfront work, and then for the rest of the year, it's going to be a little bit easier. So you'll just go into your contacts, and once you go into this, and I've got some really great contacts in here, uh, you may be noticing some of them. So uh, recognize some of these names at least. But anyway, uh, once you get into here, you're going to want to sort these contacts by their last name like i talked about they should be defaulted by first name if you click here on the name you can hit sort by last name so you can utilize that hit that and then that's going to sort there so what we're going to do is we're going to start sorting our contacts for this time so uh you know if we did a and w you know i already started to tag them for a and w so you see that there uh, because Anderson is with an A for last name. So making sure you have everyone tagged properly is what we're going to do. So since we sorted it by last name, we already have our A and W's already tagged. You know what, let's just do uh, the H and V. So let's just say it is already the, what week is that? January 27th uh, or, you know, one of these previous or future weeks uh, up here. So let's just say it's January 27th. It's time to tag our H and V's. What does that look like? So uh, what we'll do is, first of all, you're going to probably have a lot more than 23 contacts like I do with this, uh, these test fake contacts. Um, but uh, I would recommend at least at minimum, you know, bumping up to 500 contacts. If you're going to have more than 500 contacts, it might be a little bit more work to do this because you're going to have to probably do this a couple of times uh, depending where it's split. But at least for most of you probably uh, have 500 contacts or less you'll be able to hit that button. And then that way you'll be able to see 500 contacts at a time. And we're gonna look for the H and the Vs. So we've got uh, Kelly Aaron Hannon, and we've got Ryan Howard, we've got Stanley Hudson. Uh, okay, we've got that. Now, if the Vs were on the next page, which they're not, I would go. To, I would do this next step first, which would be add uh, tag. But since I have all my contacts on one page here, so if you have all your contacts on 500 pages or the 500, you'll do this as well. I'll move this out of the way. And we can see we have Bob Vance here as well. So we'll select Bob Vance. So we've got the H's and the V's all selected in there to be able to add to a tag. So we would go hit that drop down list now that we have them all selected. Uh, we hit, see we have four selected. We're going to hit add tags. And now we can just go in and uh, type in the tag we want. So it's H and V. This is the way I like to do it because then that way it's just going to pop up a little bit easier when I sort these tags. Some people will do it just by the first letter. I prefer to do both letters there um, because they're going to be happening in the same week. Just some, some people might be wanting with the text stuff, but um, that's going to be personal preference. This is going to be probably the easier way. You'll hit create tag. I would choose one color to rec uh, represent all of your DTD2 tags. Uh, so let's just say we're going to go with green here uh, and we'll hit create. Now we'll go ahead. We have the it created. So we'll hit submit. Now we have that created. We created that tag and submitted and it's updating. And now we got H and V in here. We've got our A and W there. So now let's just say it is that H and V week. I want to call those. Now instead of necessarily having to go through and, you know, viewing those at a time, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can use that filter option 
and I can filter by tag and say A, or sorry, H and V, and I can select that tag or that tag there and hit apply. Uh, once I do that, whoops. Oh, yeah, if I were to do that, then it's going to automatically pull them in. I have other tags selected at the same time uh, just to show the fake contacts. But if I were to do that, it would uh, pull them in that way. So uh, if I were to just hit H and V, it would um, kind of do the same thing. So whatever tag you click on, it's going to sort that in there. Since I have other tags in this filter, it's not going to work for those purposes. Um, but it would just show those contacts at one time. And actually, I'll do that real quick for you. I can remove that and just show the H and V. And that should, there we go. We've got it all pulled up ready to go for you. So uh, from there, you could easily just start calling them from there. Uh, or you can filter them on your contacts on your phone. Obviously, you're going to be calling them, so I usually use the command app to utilize that, and you could just filter by the contact um, in the tag on the contacts applet on your phone um, within that command app. So that would be my suggestion is get all the setup work done in the command web browser, but then execute on there. You can set up a quarterly call plan if you wanted to go from there, and it will remind you every 90 days. It might not line up perfectly because it's just a fact in every 90 days, but you could technically do it that way too if you didn't really care necessarily about the exact days, but just wanted to talk to your people four times a year. So that would be my suggestion. Either one of those would work, and then you can kind of start cranking through those contacts from there to make those calls uh, for the DTD2. So hopefully that makes sense. You're just going to go into those contacts, make sure you add your tags. So I would do it. Instead of having to spend a whole day adding tags for everyone, unless you have an assistant to help you out with it, I would just, whatever week you're on, you're going to, the first thing on that Monday of the week, you're going to add those tags for that week. Once you add those tags, you won't have to bulk do that ever again. Now, remember, anytime you add any future contacts to your database, make sure you add those tags. So uh, if you're adding it, uh, you know, in a, month two, you meet people at open houses, you add them into your database, make sure you're going in and when you're adding them in there, you're adding your DTD2 tags to be able to make sure they are going up in the system as well. And it's just going to work a little bit easier when those time comes to, um, you know, start adding people in. So that would be my suggestion. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, uh, always feel free to reach out to me. It's just Garrett Stewart at kw.com. I'm happy to help you. Uh, in any of these command questions or go to my website commandconsult.com for all my other training videos and support and of course for your hopefully your referrals for northern nevada thank you so much for watching and have a good one